How's it going guys? Luke here from 4Gamers and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. In the last episode we worked on the entrance to Palmside Park. In this episode we're going to be working on the main plaza once you come through the gates and basically like a city walk area so we're going to get right into it. So what you see me doing right here is I'm actually just building a little uh, kind of like a little fountain as you enter through the gates so it'll kind of give it an extra kind of pretty look as you walk in. So what I started off with is I try to just kind of do terrain tools trying to make a lake but didn't quite look right so instead what I went in is I added just this round basin so what I did is I just threw that down and uh, I kinda built it up so yeah you see me just kinda building it up right here I kinda wanna give a central theme central piece to the park as you walk straight through and yeah so in this episode you're mostly just gonna be seeing uh, uh, me build like the entrance to the park where I have like different shops sort of like in uh, Universal City Walk so there's gonna be like restaurants and gift shops and stuff so you'll see me building some buildings in a couple minutes so right here you see me what I'm doing is I'm just building the planet coaster a statue just to kind of catch the eye as you walk straight through the gates and here um, I'm adding some water fountains actually while I was building this Alan joined me in the room so I was kind of getting some helpful hints from him what he thought looked good so you see me just adding a ton of water so it looks like the little globe is like floating on the water as it comes off so now I'm just kinda gonna go and add some bushes and stuff and just add some pretty colors pretty plants so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode if you did please leave a comment or something down in this video so I can kinda know how you guys are liking uh, Planet Coaster if you want more in the future. In um, in the future I'll be working a lot more on rides and stuff but I've just been so immersed in this game that I've kinda just been working on the detail and nitty gritty of it so just looking at all the plants and looking at the walls and just all, kinda getting familiar with all the pieces so you can kinda see what I'm doing so far just really going into detail with each little bit I do so I sorta just kinda just finished the end, uh, centerpiece so now I'm gonna start working on the first building just finding the right spot to do it and so instead of just throwing down like the stalls I thought it looked kinda nice to kinda build up kind of like two-story buildings where you have like a front entrance kind of like a facade so you have a fake building that you can go in and have shops so it's kind of like a rabbit hole from the sims so it's not super decorated on the inside so it doesn't take up a lot of like bits so your game doesn't run slower but I just thought it looked really cool so in this building I'm kind of just adding two entrances so you'll have two different shops in uh, this building I'm planning on kind of adding like a hat shop and a, me a memento shop and so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to just like build it back a little bit so you won't be able to see where the sim or like the peeps go when they enter so it kind of will give it that extra little feel that they're going into an actual shop instead of just kind of going up to that little front entrance there and so uh, I was having a little bit of difficulty trying to get it connect squarely to the shops like that so I kind of had to go back and forth and then I kind of just had to move it out of the way and then throw it down but it all worked out in the end and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are really enjoying these types of videos. Let me know if you have any suggestions for any um, future plans with the park and what you think of the park. If you guys think I need to do something differently or if you guys really like the designs I'm doing, then just let me know. I just really want your guys' feedback so this can be our park, not just mine. So you see me here. I was talking to Alan while I was doing this and he actually was looking at it and I kind of started going through some pieces and I found, I, like, found this uh, round bit right there so I was like hey Alan what does it look like if I do this he's like oh try it and so then afterwards uh, we both agree that it looked really good to have like a flat roof right here so that's what I'm doing right here and immediately I already thought that like this building looks a lot better with kind of that curved side and it kind of just it gives a character so I'm kind of covering up that little bit there's like a little protrusion coming through from the roof so you see me just adding on a little like uh, roof decoration so it kind of adds like a nice little effect to the building and then I'm just gonna add like little shades over the windows and the doors and or just the doors yeah just the doors and uh, I was just trying to find some of the decorations for the different shops so I decided to make that the hat shop and that the memento shop and yeah so yeah it's really fun I really have been enjoying doing this game it's a lot like Sims where you can you know build houses and stuff but I feel like you have a lot more freedom it's, you're making your own little world so I've been really enjoying this game so I've really just been kind of experimenting with different things so different styles may or may not work I might be using completely different windows or completely different doors and stuff for the style but hey that's okay this is you know a fantasy game so I'm really enjoying it and uh, yeah so you see I am almost done with this building I think actually I was saved yeah I'm saving it to the blueprint 
so I can kind of just move it to the other side because I wanted a similar building on the other side of this plaza. So here I'm just decorating, adding, you know, a palm tree because you need that in Palm Side Park, of course, you know. So here I'm going to just um, copy paste it through my blueprints on the other side. And then when I did that, I kind of realized that it's going to be backwards. I don't know. I'm not sure if there's like a mirror tool or not in this game. I kind of hope they add one because it'd be really nice to, instead of have to break it down and, and build it back up, be able to just kind of mirror it on the other side. But So here what you see me doing is just kind of copying it and kind of reflecting it on the other side so I can get kind of similar feel to what it was on the um, other side of the plaza. So I'm going to actually kind of swap out those shops in there. So instead of having like this big gift shop building, this will be more like a restaurant building. And so I'm just sort of get. I want a kind of like a symmetric feel to the entrance of the park, and then it'll have more character and more differences as you start walk, walking through it and stuff. So, yeah, you see me just replacing it. I think I put a chief beef in there. If you guys didn't already know, when you're actually playing the game, it's really, it's really funny because when you throw up all these signs on the walls and stuff, they sing little tunes, and it's just amazing. So, if you guys haven't played the game, you gotta try it out because it's just it's so funny. So yeah, I kept on just trying to go for some more symmetry, throwing down some more palm trees and stuff. And uh, yeah, just going for re a really nice aesthetic. So yeah, so in the last video, I kind of talked about kind of trying to mirror this after like Universal Studios and City Walk. So this is kind of like my City Walk area, just having restaurants and stuff. I kind of want to build like a cinema or something if I can. I know they don't really have, or I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they don't have any facilities like cinemas like they had in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. But I'd love to build something like that because just have something different to do in the City Walk area. But even if they don't have it, I'm still going to build like a facade or something that looks like a movie theater. So, And uh, some of the stuff I might build off camera because I want to do, I really, really do enjoy like building these buildings. Like, But I'm not sure how you guys enjoy it. If you do, let me know in the comments down below so I can keep on showing you guys. But otherwise, I'll do some of this um, building off camera and then we'll do a ton of like rides together. And I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm still planning on doing a sci-fi theme and also a pirate theme. I actually got a comment earlier and it was really cool. Someone suggesting I build an enormous uh, roller coaster with uh, with a pirate theme looking for treasure. So I might try doing something like that. I was actually kind of building off that idea. I started thinking, what if I made kind of like a sci-fi pirate theme where I had like a flying uh, flying ship or something, like a, a cloud ship. That would be really cool. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I was also playing with some of the lights in this game. I haven't really gotten to like throw down lights and see what the different color lights look like. So you saw me kind of trying to give it a different feel by adding different colors on the different sides of the buildings there. Uh, here what you're seeing me do is I decided because it's the front entrance of the park it really needs like uh, you know uh, what's it called a clinic like a, a clinic facility so I decided instead of putting it on the floor I thought it'd look more interesting kind of to build it up put a second story entrance to the clinics and put it in either building so what you see me doing here is just kind of deleting the walls trying to get the floor to go up to the right height so I can just add that clinic and yeah so I, I really thought that this Park came out pretty well as I worked on this um, and there in the background you see the little Rex running around it's really funny um, when I'm actually playing the game and stuff he, he'll run up to those clinics and run into them and stuff so it's just kind of funny thought see you know what he's doing in there but anyway um, yeah I've, I've really been enjoying this game especially with the design aspect like I kind of forget how much you can do with the game because I remember you're able to do this sort of thing kind of in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I know it's a different game and whatnot, you know, Planet Coaster, but it still has the sort of same kind of build feel where you kind of like stack walls and stuff. So I've, I have wasn't really good at that in that game, but I feel like it's a lot more intuitive with this one. And it's, it's a lot more fun too, like building is really fun in this game, especially when you can make something look pretty and something, just something you, you know, you feel like it looks like eye candy. So that's what I'm trying to do with some of these buildings, make it look really cool. So yeah, in the last episode I was also talking about some different parks, so I thought I'd also talk about some of the parks and things like that that I've gone to. Um, recently we actually went to Universal, and that was really awesome because we actually went to the Wizarding World. I had been to, like, there's di two different parts of it. There's like a Diagon Alley part, and then there's like a, oh gosh, all the Harry Potter fans are going to hate me, but I can't remember the name. It's like, uh, shoot, it's, it's like that little town outside of Hogwarts or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I've gone to the one in Islands of Adventure, but I never went to Diagon Alley, so we recently went to Diagon Alley, and that was super fun. I really loved, like, the feel that you got when you walk through there and stuff, and I, I kind of wanted like, replicate it in this park somewhere, you know, because I really liked the magic feel. It was really cool, um, riding some of the rides and just seeing how it looks, because especially after you watch the movie and stuff, being able to be in the Harry Potter world is just amazing. But yeah, so, anyway, um, getting back to the Palmside Park, um, just adding some finishing touches and yeah 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and also leave a comment in the comment section down below, and give your suggestions for any ideas you want to see implemented in this park. Until next time, I'm Luke from 4Gamers, signing off.